Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, and welcome to another episode from me, Amamance, on the Source Block server. I have decided that actually it's really quite important that I get the maze done. Avo's Labyrinth needs sorting out because it is effectively going to be my first shop, although I might try and flog some it rubbish as well. But um, so I'm not going to go over and do anything in the kind of villagey city thing over there that doodad where the big old tree is i'm going to go over to the labyrinth because i fancy having a crack at it and see what we can't do but first i went and bought some mending books off of uh, sausage and and i've not got what i want to mend them at. come on man for goodness sake think about these things in advance planning bad planning so i'm going to pop myself uh i want to call this summit as well um avos floaty wings there we go right so i've now got mending on my elytra which is actually very very good news now do i want to put not at the moment i've got i've got other where's it gone where'd it gone where'd it gone where i also where'd i put them oh they're there they're there they're there there oh i can't even see like i've got two mendings and an efficiency four book as well because i'm off of greedy but that's what i wanted so i think that's perfectly reasonable i want to get some rockets um do i get just a couple of spare rockets there and now what i want to do is i want to go and basically get myself sorted for for this elytra because it's already half less than half durability so i need to go and kill some stuffs get my um elytra back up again i've not got anything else with mending so it doesn't matter and uh but i can't see anything to kill so i want to kill stuff but I can't see anything to kill. And then I want to go over and start bashing stuffs over at the maze. And then we'll start making the labyrinth. As that sound? That sounds like a plan. Um, one more walk in. There we go. I just need to have a little bit of a float. Look, it wasn't that far. That's why I was walking, because it wasn't that far. This is the first bit. If you didn't see last week, this is what I've done so far. And I think it looks all right, you know. Actually, oh. But I can't see anything that... You know what? I'm not going to lose my elytra at the minute. It doesn't matter. So all I want to do, basically, is I'm going to be popping the, uh, the the bushes, which are going to act as the kind of the fence for the maze area. And I'm going to pop them down on the route. This white route is going to be at least primarily my first guide for the first bit. So you've got to go around this white to get to where you want to go but i am going to chop and change it as well so it doesn't matter if you looked at the skyline yesterday's in in the last episode because frankly i'm going to change it so that's not the way forward so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to line these up all the way around here and then once i've done that i'm going to start to build the rest of it as well we're not getting it done today this is a monstrous task but i'm going to see what how much of this little area here i can get done top of this tall tree because I've done a little bit of work since the end of that and I think 
In terms of the actual structure of this first little bit, we are pretty much done. So I'm just gonna walk in and give you a feel for what it's like when you walk in the maze. So you're coming in here, I need to fancy all the insides up. It's really basic at the moment. So you've got the first little hut here and you come around. You're not meant to climb up the vines. Climbing up vines is not allowed and will be in the rule book. You're not allowed. I can see, I don't know, pro probably sausage or slip trying to climb up those vines. And I, you can't you can't trust that vintage B5. He's terrible. There's another one there. Come up through. And so this is how it's going to feel for the player when they're trying to escape the labyrinth. You can see it's, it's fairly standard maze, but we're gonna make it a little bit more fancy. And I'm already a bit lost. Oh, no, look, I've come out, I've ended up at the, the right place. So if I come along this way, obviously I'm not gonna have this white path anywhere near me when I actually open up the maze for use. But this is the route they're gonna have to take Come it around, come around, it's a bit of a preview, and I may change this. I may change this whole thing. So coming up here, coming up and around, come through here, come through here, up this way, round. So this is just part one, remember, people. Part two is about four times bigger than this, if you remember. Coming up this way and around, following it through, all the way up, big long run that way. Coming back and around and up, all the way down, and into this one and just as you think you were doing all right you have to come around this way and this way and did I just come the wrong way I think I might have done you know oh my goodness I can't even follow it myself that's bad isn't it right coming around. <laughs> I can't even follow it. oh no I can I can it's all good it's all good no don't go that way that's the wrong way all good coming this way it's quite long isn't it I've made it quite hard I meant to make it quite hard though, so that's okay. I think I've I've fluffed it. Have I fluffed it? I've somehow fluffed it. How have I done that? Oh, see, that's how hard it is. You can't even... <laughs> oh, dear. This is going to be hilarious. Anyway, but you can see here... Oh, ouch. Remember to engage Elytra. There we go. Right, so as you can see, the, the exit... The exit point is just over here. In here. Watch out for skelly barbs. Right, coming out and they're around there. So see, there is white. There is white. I didn't mess it up. It's all good. Oh my goodness. I'm getting pestered by phantoms. Of course, I was building through the night. I completely lost track of time. But I'm sort of safe-ish. I've got no way of hitting them. But I've got no way for them to actually get me either. So... It's sort of okay. There we go. It's accepting. Oh, he almost did get me. Uh, that's you done. That's you done. Gotcha. Oh, they're dropping phantom membranes left, right and centre. What's the chance of me actually being able to find these things that they're dropping? Oh, I got one. That was lucky. Where are you gone, dude? Where are you gone? You're there. Oh, no, I've hit the... I can't eat you for toffee, can I? Oh, for goodness sake. Where are you gone? I'm in my safe spot. Coming around this way. I need to light this up a little bit better. And I need to remember to sleep. I need to maybe put a bed in one of those things so people can sleep. That might be more sensible and safe, mightn't it? Oh, oh he's too fast. Yeah, you're there. I know you're there. I'm coming round. I've got an arrow pointed at your face. Ha ha. Got ya. Two phantom membranes. Thank you very much. Were there any more? If there are any more, I'm totally not finding them in here, am I? So I just went mining quickly. I did it off camera because I thought you're not going to want to see me bashing stuff. And I found a couple of veins of diamonds. I've got 32 diamonds. I wanted to get some XP back on my floaty wings, but I'm now back up to 398, which I'm a little bit more comfortable. But as a result of my Fortune 3 pickaxe, I now have 32 diamonds, which means I'm going to be going back to spawn to spend some of this lovely money in just a moment. I just wanted to run this gauntlet. I'm not going to turn this into a maze bit because that would be just be daft. It's a bit narrow. And this comes out into this maze area if you recall which is 
crazy big all the way up here if I come up here like that it's mental actually I may have made it too big I'm a little bit scared of it but <laughs> it's but all in all it's not too bad so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna I just need to assess it again hang on it's it's too massive I may need to make it a little bit smaller or maybe I won't it's it might be fun not to actually it might be fun to make it as big as it is oh well we'll keep going and I'm just gonna go over to spawn now and which actually I think is in that direction I need to get myself oriented I might go through the never it's just a lot quicker well that's not something you see every day little zombie pig man jockey I just thought I just thought I'd share is that George so we're back at spawn and we're going to be spending, it's basically, it's Black Friday today as I record this. So I'll be releasing it tomorrow, but it's Black Friday as I record it and I want to spend some money. Absolutely. What do I want to buy? Right. Uh, climb up on scaffolding. Have you got any scaffolding? I'm just going to buy some anyway, f -whip, because, well, because you can. Two stacks for one diamond. There we go. That's a sale. You can have that. Because it's Black Friday and I'm going to buy. I now can't get down. There we go. Let's jump down now. Now what else can I buy? I'm on a spree. I'm on a spree. Right, so Cattle Creek Stake. Actually, I could do with some leather. Is it, what, a diamond a stack? Bargain. I'll have one of those. Thank you very much. I might have some steak as well. Diamond a stack? Why not? i got these diamonds. We might as well. Uh, what else have we got? I don't want a pet at the moment. They're just too much trouble. They poo everywhere. Um, don't want fish. I do. Right. So let's go around here though. Because what we got here? We've got beef's bargain block bonanza. Anything worth? Actually, I might have some cracked stone bricks. I might have some mossy stone bricks. That's a good shout. I'm going to have a mossy stone bricks. And I'm some crack stone bricks. I'll have those. Thank you very much. Um, I'm going to go and buy some more rockets. Because I'm going to be using my light. More, 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 more. Three stacks for a diamond. Blimey. Bargain. One, two, three. One diamond. Boom. You can have those. Can I offload some of this stuff in here now then? Boom. Get that, that, that. That can go in there. Get rid of that. I don't know why I've got a looting three book in there. I'll have that. Thank you very much. And get rid of that too. Right, what else? So we got any books there, sausage? I want to see what you've got. What we got? Oh, black pre-Black Friday. This, this is why I come to sausages. Play. Basically, this entire shopping district, it's sausage owned. He owns the, oh, three mending books. I'm having three mending books, which means I need 12, 12 diamonds. There you go. Have I done that? How have I done that? For goodness sake. There you go. Right, so I'll have three mending books. One, two, three. Oh, 14. Um, I'm going to have one more. There we go. Four mending books. I'll put it where the stash was. Right, but what I do know I want is some bush. Oh, but we've got the wool shop. Oh, I need to come and have a look at the wool shop. Right, so payment chest and four stacks for a diamond. Really? Oh, now what wool do I want? Um, can I just take four random stacks? I'll have red wool. I'll have a blue wool. I'll have a purple wool. Yeah. And I'll have a yellow wool. There we go. Four stacks for a diamond. Bargain. Diamond. You've got it. Right, so now, finally, iron donations welcome. Have I got any iron? No. Soz fam. <laughs> I'm going to come up. I do need to buy some more bushes. Oh, no. I don't want birch bushes. I don't want jungle bushes. What bushes have we got here? Oak bushes. That's what we want. We want oak bushes. Oh, look at you. In fact, I'm having nine. One, two, three, four. Oh, I can't have more than four. One, two, three, four. Have we got an ender chest anywhere? Have we got an ender chest anywhere? Oh, I need to go back and use an ender chest. Someone's got an ender chest. Where did I have that ender chest? It was up here, wasn't it? Good, 
Good job, Flip. Thank goodness for you. Thank goodness for you. Right, there we go. So I'm going to have one, two, three, four. They can go in there. Two, come down. I'm going to spend the rest of my diamonds. I need bushes for this maze. This maze is going to absolutely, it's going to rob me blind. Sausage is going to be the richest person on the entire server as a result of me buying all of the bushes. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. I'm happy with that. That's a complete result. I have today done the first part of the maze. I've got it all set out. I need to fancy and jazz it up. I need to make the floor better. I need to put little clues and things like that inside it. And I've got it all the way up to the beginning of the second part of the maze. So I'm really pleased with the progress. That is massive work. I've also bought a load more bushes. I'm gonna have to go and do, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be unfaithful to your sausage. I'm gonna collect some of my own bushes as well. But I am gonna need more. But I've also done loads of shopping on Black Friday and I'll, I need to eat some steak. Get it in you, get it in you, get it in you. There you go, boom. If you have enjoyed this video, please do remember to slap that like button. Be great to know you're enjoying it, and I will keep on making. Also, if you've not done it already, please do it, that subscribe button. Be great to see you in my sub club. I look forward to seeing you in another video. You take it easy now. Bye.